The next one is the Racto County Employee Holidays Policy, policy number 2006-4-12, as amended to add Juneteenth as an official Rockdale County holiday beginning in 2021. I move to approve this resolution as presented. And I second that motion. It has been properly motioned and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. On September 22, 2020, the Rockdale County Board of Commissioners named Juneteenth as an official county holiday. Juneteenth, short for June 19th, marks the day when federal troops arrived in Galveston, Texas in 1865 to take control of the state and ensure that all enslaved people be freed. The troops' arrival came a full two and a half years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation and about six months after Congress passed the 13th Amendment. Juneteenth honors the actual end of slavery in the United States and is considered the longest running African-American holiday. Thank you all for um, joining me and recognizing Juneteenth as a uh, county holiday. And I think that um, by us doing this, we have shown not just the employees what we value, but the rest of the world what we value. And that is the entire history of this country and the entire notion of freedom in this country. Although enslaved people in Georgia were freed shortly after the 13th Amendment was passed, Juneteenth marks the emancipation of all slaves within the United States. To me, Juneteenth is not a black holiday. It should be considered a national holiday because like I said, that is when the United States realized its goal of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. When we uh, take this day off and observe this day as a county uh, holiday for our employees, we want them to be educated. They need to know the true meaning behind this particular holiday. I think it's really important that, that our community understand all of our history. And this is, um, this is an, an event, a, a celebration that's been happening since 1860 in the 1860s it's a good time to to recognize now and to remember that um his, historic event the attention of the entire nation and the entire world was gripped by real world examples of injustice happening to african americans in this country these instances sparked a desire for change in many communities in america including here in rockdale county by recognizing juneteenth rockdale county joins the nation in acknowledging honoring and commemorating the rich heritage and history of Black citizens. As we celebrate this holiday, we remember the contributions Black Americans continue to make as the nation advances towards change. In 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation was issued by President Lincoln, and it really didn't immediately free anybody, but it gave more authority to the Union troops along the coast for what they were doing on behalf of Black folks. So General Sherman uh, came to Conyers uh, November 16 and 17 of 1864. And wherever the Union troops came, Black people who were enslaved considered themselves free. And they kind of uh, stuck as close as they could to the Union troops camps because that's, that way they felt most protected. So we can assume that black folks in Conyers were like black folks elsewhere. When the Union troops came, they became free. Black people were officially no longer enslaved, but we know there was a big difference between what's official and what really goes on. So people were, black people in particular, were not as free as, as were their white counterparts. So they realized that uh, they had to do things for themselves. They had to build a community and they had to find ways to support each other. They did that in starting up churches and schools and various character building organizations. The church took on uh, a very special role in, li in Black lives that may have been uh, a, a bigger role in the lives than, than church might have been in other people's lives. It was this, it was the spiritual home, it was a social place, it was an educational place. 
my great great grandfather and my great great grandmother they purchased land over on Rock Beach Road, which was 300 acres. To me, it's very strong feeling that we were able to to buy land and live on it and keep it because very few blacks would do that. And we just was lucky, I think, that we did that and we uh, held on to the land and kept it and, and we still now own most of it. And, and we love that we own it and we're glad. We, we encourage other blacks in that neighborhood to, if they have the means and buy land to go ahead and do it. So I was at J.P. Carr uh, in the first grade and I wanted to um, I asked my parents, can I go to the white school? And that was, um, it was voluntary. I remember walking down the halls. I've been hearing the N word, you know, people, young kids shouting out the N word. It's very pleasing to see the leadership in our county, the leadership in our school system that has occurred. But unless we forget, from whence we have come, history is destined to repeat itself. If we are not vigilant, we will see the same thing take place that we saw, and we are seeing the same things that take, took place back in the 50s, the 40s, before my time. Our kids just, they don't get it, you know, going to school, so it's up to us as parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents to tell these kids that you know, the things that we've gone through with and the shoulders that we are on.